Well, Happy New Year, Faith Lutheran, and Happy New Year, Faith Lutheran friends. It's Pastor Jerry Watts here, and it is my joy and my pleasure to gather with you this morning in God's Word and in prayer. We have a tradition in the association we're part of, Lutheran Congregations for Mission in Christ, to begin the year with three days of prayer, and that begins today. Each day, you'll see a video from one of the pastors inviting us to pray and inviting us to pray together. But I hope you'll also go to the LCMC webpage, lcmc.net, and download some more resources so you can continue this time of prayer during these three days in your home with your family and with your friends and, of course, with us together in our congregation. So let's dig into some time of prayer as we begin this new year. And no better way to do that is by being called into prayer through God's word. The Word made flesh, God with us, we celebrate at Christmas, and we celebrate it now as we come to this text today. I've been wearing this bracelet on my wrist for some time now. It was a gift from another LCMC pastor that she sent out to several, uh, I think, all the pastors throughout our association. And on it, it says, Isaiah 43, 1, God's got this. It's an encouragement, a reminder of what God is doing. Let's hear that reminder, not just that phrase, God. It's got this, but what God is actually saying to you and me in his word today, Isaiah 43, 1 says, but now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. This is the promise from the Lord for you and for me today. We are his redeemed. He has called us. He's called us by name. And from that calling, we know that he's got this. He's got our salvation. He's got our future in his hands. And so let's come to him today in prayer. Gracious God, we pray for uh, your presence to be among us today and every day. We know bidden or unbidden, you are there. And so we remember and come to you confessing and receiving the gift of your presence among us. We pray, Lord, that you would be among your people called Faith Lutheran and that you would be at work in this new year in all of the work that you call us to do in our worship life together, gather people to join us in our disciple life as we grow in Bible study, whether it's an adult Bible study or youth Bible study or fellowship groups or special events, whatever it may be that's ahead of us, God, we pray for provision for that work in all that we do. And we pray for your leading in all of those important ministries. We pray that many would come to know you, Jesus, and walk in a deeper life of discipleship because of this gathering. We pray that same deep calling and growth and provision for all thousand of the LCMC congregations across the world, that you would be at work in and through all of us. Let us be your people, the redeemed, called by your name to follow you. Remind us of that, God. Provide for us, lead us, and guide us. And so we pray as you taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thanks for praying with me today, friends. I hope you'll be with us again in prayer tomorrow and all three days of prayer. And I hope you'll join us in worship this weekend. It's a special weekend with Mike Bradley, Pastor Mike Bradley, preaching for us on the Saturday night service, and then just one service on Sunday at 930, where not only Mike will preach for us, but he'll also install me as uh, your senior pastor. So I look forward to being with you again this weekend. God bless you, and God bless you in this new year.